Dragon Ball Sparking Zero got its first balance patch, and I want to know what you guys think, because I made a short talking about nerfs, and I feel like that's very much interesting to talk about now, because, well, in the patch notes, we did get a nerf. And, well, it's Yajirobe. It's, it, it's Yajirobe. I talked about this in the short, saying how people thought he was too powerful, and they're going to do a balance patch. Now, at the time, we didn't know if that was going to be, for some reason, a buff or a nerf. We all kind of assumed, and yes, it did happen to be a nerf, but in a way, it kind of indirectly buffed them, sort of. Essentially, before, he would need five skill stocks to eat a Sensu Bean. Now it's six, but that's because they added a skill stock to him. And they also lowered his health pool. I believe he has like two and a half now. And he had like about three, three and a half before. So they just lowered a whole bar. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but essentially he has less health. And it's funny because I see the discourse like on the internet of people talking about nerfs, like how they want nerfs or they don't want nerfs. And from what I'm seeing, it seems like the people that want nerfs, people that want some sort of balance to the game, are kind of like the new people. The people that, you know, don't really want anything to change, they want it to be how it is. Or mostly the <clears throat> old heads like myself who've played Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and all that stuff. So, again, the juxtaposition is really interesting to see, especially because I've seen popular content creators like Dadadoya even mention. I, I'm pretty sure this was a joke, but it was kind of funny. But this kind of shows how Yajirobe kind of was a problem, so the nerf probably might have been a little bit warranted. So they lowered Yajirobe's health, right? But Dadadoya said <laughs> that's two and a half bars too much. <laughs> Essentially <laughs> insinuating he should have no health at all. I'm pretty sure that was the joke. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I guess he probably is a problem online just eating lunch. So hopefully this helps tune it or could make it worse, we'll, we'll have to wait and see to be quite honest. <laughs> but, you know, a little patch here and there is really interesting to see. Do you guys think that that's proper, they should do that? Because there's another thing that people were also complaining about, and this wasn't addressed at all, and it was Vegeta, no, essentially it was after Image Strike, being on, like, the more, like, I guess, powerful characters. Like, after Image Strike shouldn't be on powerful characters, it should be on the less powerful characters. Because I saw something that was insane after Image Strike was blinking every single hit of Vegito's final explosion. And I can see that being super, super annoying online, especially if it's like a super powerful character that just absolutely just dodges, dodges, dodges. Me, myself, I think that's fun. But I can understand, I guess, some people's frustrations. But you also gotta understand what kind of game it is. It's not necessarily like a super competitive fighter. But I, some balance stuff I could kind of see, like I'm in the middle of this. I feel like some sort of balance changes could be nice. For instance, so back in the day when you did any skill moves like full power, at the end of it, like when it finished, when it was over, you would have some sort of key sickness where you would essentially charge slower. But now when you just pop those, they're free. There's no risk reward. There's just reward. So now you can just pop full power with your skills and just be full power and you're good. It goes away, you're fine. Now, I'm not necessarily saying they should add key sickness back, but uh, they should add key sickness back. <laughs> it's just like, there's so much things like, do you guys think that'd be okay as well? Because that wouldn't be like a whole nerf to essentially one specific character. That'd be like the whole cast. Do you think like mechanical changes would be kind of neat? Because I do think mechanical changes would be very, very nice as well. But uh, yeah, so that's one thing in the patch notes that happened that I feel like I really wanted to talk about because again, I made a short and I saw all you guys' comments. So I'm just curious what you guys think about this as well. And now I'm going to kind of just talk a bit more in depth with the patch in general instead of just speaking pure nerfs. So if you want to stick around for that, go ahead and do so. And one of the big things I do want to talk about is how they fixed classic controls on online finally. Uh, that's one thing that essentially deterred me from playing online. So I'm glad that we're getting these patches and the game seeing support. And well, that's just beautiful. So you're probably going to see some ranked matches from me on the channel. If you're interested, go ahead and check those out whenever I post those. But yeah, they did a couple things as well, like probably help you guys out because I did make a bunch of tutorials on how to do alternate objectives on certain episode battles. Well, apparently they made some episode battles easier. So hey, hey, those tutorials are mine. Probably be a lot more simple than how they were. So I wouldn't say they're obsolete. So go ahead and check those out if you guys are stuck on some some episode battle stuff. But uh, it's probably going to make it a lot easier. I'm assuming they're going to make the timer 
like less strict, I'd imagine. Maybe some damage numbers, a uh, little bit, you know, not as hard. Because <laughs> believe me when I say, like, even as a veteran, there's a couple where I was like, oh no, oh no, it was, was kind of hard. So just playing BT3 definitely helped me, but uh, not 100% on, uh, on some of the stuff. But uh, just, yeah, do you think the game should have nerfs? Do you think it should have like all around battle uh, balance changes? And are you happy with this patch? Because I 100% am currently. I don't know about the Adrobe stuff because I did play Adrobe a lot. But overall, like I, I'm happy with it where the game is right now. I do wish there's a couple extra things that they could do. But I might save that for another video as my wishes for Sparking Zero in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.